To demonstrate the gamma ray detection, I have here a piece from a smoke detector. Inside is uh, a Mercian 241. It's a radioactive material that emits low energy gamma rays. So putting it up close to the detector, the detector does detect the gamma rays. It's mostly safe. Mostly. This is my test setup for what will go into space on a high altitude balloon. What we have here is a Geiger counter. This whole thing is a kit by Goldmine Electronics. And whenever it detects a ionization from one of the particles, it first brights up this LED here and sends a signal to this wire here which goes to this Exxon microcontroller. It processes and counts the particles that is detected. Uh, it also time marks everything. The Geiger counter is powered by 9 volt. Now, all the events, all the data is being stored in EEPROM in this chip here. We're using about 2.5 kilobytes for every four hours, but the total event will last about three hours. What you see now is it's in a box, and I'm going to wrap it up in a bag soon. And this whole thing will go in my refrigerator for a few hours and see if it fails or not in really cold uh, temperature. In the fridge, the experiment goes. Mmm, food. Well, the test is done. Let's go open up and try it out. I just finished the test. The Geiger counter is still working. And the Exxon has not reset. Everything seems to be fine. Nothing feels frozen. It's a little cold. It's been in a fridge for about 35 minutes. Uh, what I did not mention, I forgot to mention before, is this is a temperature and a pressure sensor that's connected to the axon by I squared C. It's powered by the 3.3 volt line right here. So this whole experiment I was measuring temperature and pressure within the fridge and data logging it as well. Now I'm going to turn off the experiment and I'm going to go collect the data from EEPROM. I have just hooked up USB to the axon so I can collect the data and it's going into my computer here so I'm going to flip it on and so it's asking me to push the X button to download the data so I push uh, X and then I also have to push the button now that's all the data that was stored it just saved it for me so because it's hyper terminal I could just uh, keep the data and now to look at it in Excel. I've just graphed it in Excel. This green line here is the temperature. So it's pretty much flat at uh, room temperature here, about 22 degrees Celsius. And here's where it goes into the fridge. It rapidly goes down and slowly curves off. And at this point it's about negative 9 degrees Celsius, negative 8. I suspect it could probably go to about, I don't know, negative 12 degrees Celsius in my fridge. Uh, otherwise, the Geiger counter does not seem to have been affected, and the air pressure does not seem to have been affected by the te temperature change. What we have here is this going down to a 
30 inches of mercury very slowly and the device is in the vacuum and it blinks it's detecting something so right now it's about 29 mercury inches inches of mercury and it's flashing it's now 30 inches of mercury It's a little over 30 inches of mercury and now it just goes high.